What's up guys, this is Alexios Does Stuff and in today's video I'm going to be going over Android TV Sticks, specifically the Xiaomi Mi TV Stick and it's honestly great. This is the little remote that it comes with, super super simple to use. So why would you actually want to buy a TV Stick in the first place? Well there are many reasons, you know you might not have a smart TV or you might be purchasing a new TV and you sort of stuck between whether you go smart or stupid. Wait, is that, can we say that? Is there a smart TV and a stupid TV or is it just a TV and then a smart TV? However you want to look at it, that's basically what a TV stick does. It plugs into the back of your TV and it gives you smart functionality. So you can run apps such as YouTube, Netflix, and DSTV now to name a few. So this TV stick starts at 800 Rand and you might be like, Alexios, Quite a bit of money and it is but it isn't because the other tv sticks and tv boxes that you can buy for around 400 to 600 rand are quite frankly garbage i, I said it guys they're just terrible i've owned them in the past and then item that you plug in and then in a few months you unplug it and throw in the drawer because it is just terrible so this tv stick is actually genuinely lacquer to use and I said lacquer yes this is a South African review it's what I do guys so it's very user friendly very intuitive the setup process takes under 20 minutes plug it into the back of your TV and like an official Android device if you've ever used an Android phone in the past or an Android tablet you will be very familiar with the setup process and 20 minutes later you've got a fully functioning smart TV stick and you can just sign in with Netflix, YouTube, etc. So a tech spec that's relatively important is it runs at full HD 60 FPS, which for most people will be perfectly fine. If you have a 4K TV, you won't be taking full advantage of it, but it will still work. And honestly, 1080p is really lacquer if you have a 1080p TV like myself. And Apps like YouTube and Netflix and DSTV now all run smoothly without any lag or stutter. There is a slight load time for each application, but when you're watching TV, you usually watch on one application at a time. So you'd load YouTube and you watch on YouTube, or you'd load Netflix, vice versa. You won't necessarily be switching between apps on a constant basis like you would be on your phone. So other than that, it's really awesome and it definitely gets a seal of approval for me on the tech specs. So overall, this is a really awesome little device. It's super small and super convenient. If you ever need to just unplug it and take it to a friend's house to watch Netflix or YouTube on their TV. So honestly guys, for the price, this is actually an unbeatable product. And it really saves money if you have a really nice high quality TV, but it just doesn't have any smart functionality and you'd like to upgrade it for a small fee. So I'll leave some links down in the description if you are interested in purchasing this unit. And on that note, it's been your boy Alex Yoss. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's somewhat useful or at least somewhat cleared a few things up. So that's that. Cheers guys, I'll check you in the next one.